Welcome back, car lovers, to another week, another episode, and another vehicle. So you guys already know that um, I attend the Air Force Academy, and I have a pilot slot. And I just want y'all's opinion. What do you think I should fly? I am currently leaning towards helicopters, but comment and let me know what you think. Let's go check out this car. Bye. Okay, video three of five for the fifty dollar uh, giveaway it has nothing to do with the cars. Uh, nineteen sixty Plymouth Valiant, straight six, runs, which I will show you videos of it running here right after this walk around. Three speed on the floor. The car is going to need floors repaired or replaced. They were patched up, especially here in the back, right there. Um, you could stomp on them. They feel pretty firm, but they're not. They've been re repaired once. This is sheet metal here. Was the back of it was sticking out of the barn as you can see it starts to get a little rougher back here toward the back some of the brakes are locked up on it froze up on it so it won't roll but the clutch does work i had it going back and forth a little bit trunk is floor is pretty gone in it mainly just where the spare tire goes up in here there's a little surface rust and up in there is really nice Wheel wells are good, but the lip here is pretty much needs replacing all the way around too. Trunk lid is good. It's got the old uh, continental looking thing on the back. It's all here, all the chrome is here. This quarter panel needs some work. Pretty solid though, just surface rust. Looks like the interior has been redone at one point in its life. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Well, you can see the front and the back seat don't match. All the glass is good in it. One more thing I wanted to point out is that the hood opens by this emblem right here. That's the that's the latch. I thought that was pretty neat. I do have the grill and the chrome that goes around the grill. Look how solid this thing is. Battery tray's got a little bit of rust in it. The car does have a clear title and all the keys. I do have the keys for it, ignition and trunk. It was last registered or on the road in 1995. You got a little friend here you can take home with you when you buy the car. I'll show you why I think its interior has been redone. This spot right here. Look at that color under there. I don't know if that's original color or what. That's pretty cool. Um, got a radio. It's got the automatic delete panel for the buttons if it wasn't automatic. And that's it. Check out the, uh, the car running, which will come up right now. Thank you. I see it running. Need the muffler.
clutch is good. I checked it out. It shifts. I mean, it goes backwards and forwards and stuff. So there's been some confusion on our $50 giveaway. There is more information on the About tab in our YouTube channel. This is video three of five um, where I put in numbers in the video randomly. You All you have to do right now is collect numbers. You're not turning in numbers or submitting numbers at this point. You're waiting until our fifth video is uploaded to get all the numbers because the fifth video is also going to have numbers in it that you need to collect and then in that video i'm going to explain what you do with those numbers and then you turn in your answer to us via the comment section in hopes of getting the 50 dollars gift card also the 50 dollars giveaway has nothing to do with the vehicles that we show in our videos um, so don't like associate the vehicles that we're showing with like a $50 raffle or anything like that. It's a one-time $50 giveaway and you also have to be subscribed. So like, share, subscribe. Peace.